There's hundreds. Okay. A hundred questions. Oh wait, a hundred getting to know you questions is what I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's start. Who is your hero? Oh, my grandpa. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? The U.S. or Japan? What is your biggest fear? Oh, dying lonely. What is your favorite family vacation?、Mm, where、well, we travel a lot in the southern parts of Japan. What would you change about yourself if you could move deep? <laughs> oh, okay. I think I would change my math skills. Look,、okay. I want better math skills. What really makes you angry? When people betray me. But you're not really an angry person, though. Yeah, I just get sad. I don't <laughs> get angry. I、yeah. just get sad. What motivates you to work hard? I feel like these questions are very different from yours. I know. <laughs> <laughs> What motivates me to work hard is、um, when I feel that I'm getting stimulated in a knowledgeable way.、Mm-hmm. Um, I want to push myself to work harder so that I can be a little bit of a contribution to like the team's success. What is your favorite thing about your career? <laughs> Am I being interviewed or something? Like. <laughs> Everything about my career,、uh, <laughs> my job right now, is something to do with people who are pretty creative, and they inspire a lot of other people. So I think talking to them on a daily basis、um, is my favorite part so far, and I think that's going to be a continual,、um, mutual kind of thing that I want throughout my career. Okay, what is your biggest complaint about your job? Oh. Um, Why are these cut? Co- <laughs> so deep. Yeah, it's all about my job. <laughs>、um, well, right now we're in quarantine, and like I can't see my partners or my clients face to face. So I think that would be a complaint, but it's not like an actual complaint because we're trying to all be safe and protect ourselves from the coronavirus. So, what is your proudest accomplishment? Um. <gasps> Becoming friends with you. Oh my god! Sell myself in. <laughs>、uh, wait, what is this question? <laughs> what is your child's proudest accomplishment? <laughs> my child's proudest accomplishment. <laughs>、yeah. Um, having me as their mother, probably. <laughs> to your future child. <laughs> Maybe you can、yeah. talk about your dog. Oh. Well, I can feel that he tries to protect our family most of the time. What is your favorite book to read? Pulse by Lewis Satcher. Satcher, I read it like four times. Okay, I'll do a more recent one. It's in Japanese and it's called Yume o Kanai de Zoul,、okay. and it's by this person called Mizuno something、mm-hmm. Mizuno Song. What makes you laugh the most? I laugh at intelligent memes. Intelligent, <laughs>、yeah. not just a meme. But an intelligent one. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes.、Uh, what was the last movie you went to, and what did you think of it? I can't remember, but it was good. I watched Aladdin on the airplane like three times. Three times. Once in the theaters, yes. So、oh. like a total of four times. Yeah. I loved Will Smith's performance, the songs, whatever. But <laughs> I liked the performance. What did you want to be when you were small or young? I wanted to work in a bakery, and then before that, I wanted to work as a pet shop staff. What does your child want to be? What? Okay. What is? What does your child want to be when she grows up? I think she wants to be. Wait. Why is this? Okay. So I'll just replace that question and ask you an original question. What is your favorite animal? I want to say dogs, but I really like monkeys. Monkeys. I feel like. I I feel like I can relate to them. <laughs> they're they're really cute and like. I mean, yeah, I guess they're like the most relatable animal. <laughs> If you could choose to do anything for a day, what would it be? That's a really good question, but it's a really difficult one. I think I would want to go to the beach and just chill with like a coconut frozen smoothie, and then just stare into the ocean and just like sleep. What is your favorite game or sport to watch and play? Okay, favorite sport to watch 
is maybe soccer because I don't watch it live but when I see like the archived videos I feel there's so much energy and everyone in Japan I feel like gets together like mentally um, and then favorite sport to play is um, Japanese archery because that's the only sport I know how to play a favorite game um, recently I've been kind of into this game that you can play on mobile called yeah um, getting over it but I can never get over it so it's a very complex it just creates a lot of anxiety but I still go back to it once in a while because I paid six dollars for it. it's kind of like I need to play it and get over it yeah would you rather ride a bike ride a horse or drive a car I can't do all of them Okay, so, okay, the one I can do is ride a bike. I would love to drive a car, but I kind of yes, you can. am not good at it. Well, yeah. I can, but I'm not <laughs> the best. I don't want to risk my life, so probably the bike. What would you sing at karaoke night? Oh, so many. If you had to choose one song, what would it be? Um, how about If I Can't Have You? Is that the song? By Alicia Keys, If I Can't Hold You. No, If I Can't Have You. What two radio stations do you listen to in the car the most? I don't listen to radio. Okay, next. Which would you rather do? Wash dishes? Mow the lawn? Clean the bathroom? Or vacuum the house? Wash the dishes. If you could hire someone to help you, would it to be with cleaning, cooking, or yard work? <gasps> cooking. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Udon. Sorry, Did no. you hear me? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. No, I said good. udon. Yeah, udon. Is it like? Oh yeah, I think there's like thunder or something. Oh, did you lock the door? It's always locked. It's fine. Okay, thank you. Who is your favorite author? See, it's hard because I don't read that many books. Uh, Raul Dahl. She's very imaginative. Raul Dahl? Yeah. Like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a she. James and the Giant Peach. Oh, let me Google. Oh, it's a he, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you ever had a nickname and what is it? I think so, yes. It was a combination of my first name and my last name. Do you like or dislike surprises? I like surprises that don't hurt me. In the evening, would you rather play a game, visit a relative, watch a movie, or read? Watch a movie. Would you rather vacation in Hawaii or Alaska? Hawaii. Would you rather win the lottery or work at a perfect job? job who would you want to be stranded with on a desert island you <laughs> i have no choice okay <laughs> if money was no object what would you do all day eat and sleep or like what would you buy i would order french fries and just eat them all day if you could go back in time what year would you travel to i want to say the year i was born oh that's a good answer but i mean you know there are some things that i wish i learned more of back in the day but i don't know i don't think i would choose to go back maybe how would your friends describe you very careful in a way a little bit secretive i'm not that secretive but like I try to be open, but very open to the very specific people that I can trust. Yeah, I think that would be the explanation. What are your hobbies? I like to sing in the shower or like anywhere. I like to drink water. Is that a hobby? <laughs> I don't know. I like to watch a lot of videos and find memes. What is the best gift you have been given? This life. Okay. What is the worst <laughs> gift you've received? Nothing. Oh, I once got these building toys-ish thing. I do not use them and I don't know what to do with them and they've been sitting <laughs> somewhere in my house for the longest time ever. Aside from necessities, what one thing could you not go a day without? Setting up my hair and face. Every day? If I had to go outside to the office or something, then yes. List two pet peeves. One is when someone puts their shoes on the bed. Like when I was studying abroad, that happened and I was very shocked. Oh. The second one, mm, 
maybe that's just the one. Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, I actually don't know because the world is changing at a pace that I've never imagined. I don't know if I'll be in the same company in the five years or like if I'll be doing something else, but I want to be always doing something with the people that I really have fun talking to, so that won't change. How many pairs of shoes do you own? Maybe like 20, 15. If you were a superhero, what powers would you have? Flying. What would you do if you won the lottery? Okay, save 50. Okay. Give 20 to my family and then give the rest to charity. What form of public transportation do you prefer? Air, boat, train, bus, car, etc.? Car? because you can be with other people, but train because they're always on time and you can get off to go to the bathroom if you really have to. What's your favorite zoo animal? Monkey. If you could go back in time to change one thing, what would it be? I would study more math. If you could share a meal with any four individuals, living or dead, who would they be? Kim Il-san, Lady Gaga, my grandpa, and you. Hey, how many pillows do you sleep with? One. One. What's the longest you've gone without sleep and why? Two days because I had a sleepover and didn't take a nap the next day. What's the tallest building you've been to the top in? Tokyo Tower. Would you rather trade intelligence for looks or looks for intelligence? I wouldn't trade intelligence for looks. How often do you buy clothes? I don't buy it very frequently, but when I do, I buy... A lot. Yeah, maybe. Have you ever had a secret admirer? Yeah, I think so. Back in elementary school. What's your favorite holiday? Christmas time, like around end of year. What's the most daring thing you've ever done? I opened up something straight to a person's face because I thought it helped help them, but that was scary for me. Open up something about yourself? I told the person something about them that okay. they can work on. Oh, uh, okay, okay. What was the last thing you recorded on TV? I think it was like a drama that Yoshizawa Ryo was in. <laughs> what was the last book you read? Mm, um, it's in my Kindle, but um, it was something about the history of how media developed. What's yeah. your favorite type of foreign food? French fries. Are you a clean or messy person? I'm messy, I think. Who would you want to play you in a movie of your life? I don't know. Oh, there's a really cute idol in Hakata 48 group. I think she's like half Russian or something. Mm. So maybe her. Are you half Russian? <laughs> no. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? A good 35 to 45 minutes. What kitchen appliance do you use every day? Oh, I don't cook. Um, <laughs> frying pan. What's your favorite fast food chain? McDonald's. What's your favorite family recipe? Hamburger. Do you love or hate roller coasters? Love. What's your favorite family tradition? We see one of our grandparents' houses on the last day of the year and the first day of the year. What's your favorite childhood memory? Playing with Sam. What's your favorite movie? The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Aladdin. How old were you when you learned Santa wasn't real and how did you find out? You were there. Was I like 15? First year of middle no, school. No, you were 13. It was shocking. Yeah, I was like feeling from everyone that he's not real. And so I go home and then I, I tell my mom like, mom, everyone's saying Santa isn't real. And she's like, yeah, it's not real. <laughs> That's like how casual the conversation got carried away. And I was like, how can you disclose it to me that casually? It's not a light conversation here. Did you have like any doubts though? I was thinking maybe, but he was real for me, you know? Is your glass half full or half empty? Half full. What's the craziest thing you've done in the name of love? Maybe I like I might have like bought something a little too much because I really wanted to give it to my sister or like someone, my family. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe too much food. I don't know. <laughs> what three items would you take with you on a deserted island? My phone, lipstick, and eye drops. Okay, what was your favorite subject in school? Physical education. Okay, music. Uh, what's the most unusual thing you've ever eaten? A bee. You ate a bee? I tried. I, I kind of like crunched on it and then I think I spit it out. So technically I didn't eat it, I tried. Oh, I've eaten frogs actually. Frog porridge in Singapore. Do you collect anything? No. You collect memes. 
I collect memes and quotes. And maybe like earrings. Is there anything you mm. wished would come back into fashion? Retro fashion. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Most of the time, I act as if I'm an extrovert. I am very sensitive and rather an introvert, I feel like. Which of the five senses would you say is your strongest? Smell. Have you ever had a surprise party? Yes, I think so. I don't know. Are you related or distantly related to anyone famous? Well, very, very, very distantly, but my grandma's might have been one of like the samurai-ish person for one of the famous busho mitaina. What do you do to keep fit? I don't keep fit. Very recently started the Chloe Ting two-week challenge. Today is day three, so we'll see. Does your family have a motto, spoken or unspoken? Don't say bad things about other people. If you were ruler of your own country, what would be the first law you would introduce? Don't kill people. Don't hurt people. Who was your favorite teacher in school and why? There was a teacher, she was really, really positive and she was very inclusive of whoever you were. So I really liked that teacher and she was my homeroom teacher for, I think, fourth grade. What three things do you think of the most each day? What kind of funny memes have the world produced over the <laughs> last 24 hours? I check what interesting content is there on YouTube and I just check in with my family and friends to see if they're alive. If you had a warning label, what would yours say? Don't talk to her if she hasn't had her first cup of coffee for your own safety. Uh, what song would you say best sums you up? Very hard question. I don't think I could answer that. There's too many feelings in too many songs and I'm too attached to all of them, so. What about like right now? Oh, I was really liking um, Katy Perry's songs recently because they're like summery and like pop and positive and stuff. Okay. It's like Katy Perry songs. What celebrity would you like to meet at Starbucks for a cup of coffee? Lady Gaga. Who was your first crush? This person from back in elementary school, we were on the same bus and we were also in the same class. I'm he trying was to remember Italian American. Name. Oh, I remember the name. Do you want to know? I remember the name. <laughs> Can I say it? Yeah, it's fine. Greg. Oh yes, that's right. <laughs> What's the most interesting thing you can see out of your office or kitchen window? Um, a park. <laughs> uh, on a scale of one to 10, how funny would you say you are? <laughs> seven and a half. Isn't that pretty on point, seven and a half? Yeah, yeah, I'd say you're seven. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in 10 years? You asked me about five years from now. I don't know what 10 years. <laughs> Okay, so in 10 years, I'll be 35. So hopefully I have like two children and I'm married and I'm living in a house with a dog. What was your first job? Why do you think it's Oh, yeah, first part-time job would be being at like event space and then me answering questions from the people who came. If you could join any past or current music group, which would you want to join? Music group? Like a Broadway show, maybe. Broadway Ooh, crew. Ooh, nice. I would love to go. Yeah, and sounds perform. fun. How many languages do you speak? Two. Japanese and English. What is your favorite family holiday tradition? Eating a specific classic Japanese food on the first day of the year. Although it's not like really, really good. What is it? Lots of fish and stuff. It osechi. Ah. Yeah, but it's like the only time you eat it, so it's kind of like an interesting thing. Who is the most intelligent person you know? Mm, maybe this person at work. If you had to describe yourself as an animal, which one would it be? Dog. What is one thing you will never do again? I can't, I don't think I could say it now. There is a specific thing you are thinking of right now? Yes. Okay. But I can't say it here. I think I know what it is. <laughs> I think you know too. <laughs> Who knows you the best? You. Really? Yeah, I mean, someone in my family or you. Yeah, I thought you would say someone in your family. I think they know a part of me that you don't know and you know a part of me that they don't know. So it's kind of like hard to say. Okay, that's all. <gasps> that's all. That felt so long. I think it's because the questions were kind of deep. They were like interview questions. <laughs> okay, that's it. Thank you, wow. <laughs> all is done. Oh.